So today we're going to Miro's. They are a pizza place that just looked really interesting. We like to go for pizza every single Friday. And according to their website, it's New York style pizza, locally sourced and crafted with love. So that sounds amazing. Oh, I just got a text message that our pizza is ready. I don't like when you order for a specified time and it's super early because then it's going to get cold before you can go pick it up. massive. I tried looking up information on this place online and there really wasn't much. Her website was kind of bare aside of a few pictures and a menu. What looks like the fried raviolis, garlic knots, wings, and several different pizzas with a salad too. Yep, that's a salad. The worst part is after you pick it up and you have to drive home smelling the pizza. What are you looking forward to the most? I'm excited to try the fried cheese ravioli because it's something a little bit different and it's fried cheese so you can't go wrong with that. I'm really curious. I want to take a look. I want to no sneak a peek. <laughs> you let the hot air out plus I'm driving and I can't look at it so. I guess I'm looking forward to the pizza the most but I am really curious about the cheese raviolis too. How's your hot and toasty lap? My biscuits are burning. <laughs> Cool, so we just finished Miro's. It was actually really good. I wasn't sure what to expect because their website was kind of basic and I was kind of expecting a basic pizza. The dough that's in the crust was really good. Actually, it kind of felt like, it, I mean, it didn't really feel. It tasted though. The crust tasted just like a loaf of bread, the same consistency. It wasn't super doughy, super overpowering like those crusts that you try and eat and it's just like, ugh. Chewing and chewing and chewing. That too. The slices were as big as your head. The slices were as big as my head. They were huge. Which is why he could only eat two of them. Pretty filling though. Normally it takes half a pizza to three quarters of the pizza to fill me up. This one, I filled up actually after one slice, but I decided to have a second one because it was so good. I thought the pizza overall was really good. I could have used some more cheese, especially when it's only cheese on the top. I feel like you need more of it. Um, but the seasoning was really good and it was well baked. They advertised as New York style pizza. I thought the crust was a little thick for to be considered New York style, but it was good crust and it wasn't completely overbearing. What did you think about the fried cheese raviolis? I like them a lot, but I did feel like maybe there was a little bit too much. Like the breading? Yeah, I mean, it's just extra. Is it extra starch or extra glutes? I don't know. Glutes are your butt. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Glutens? But, yes. Those. Extra glutens. Yeah, I thought it was a little oily and kind of bland. I was a little disappointed in the fried cheese raviolis. They were $7.50, which seems a little pricey. You get six of them. I probably wouldn't get those again, but we're all right. Good to try something new. It's just, I mean, it looked like it was a ricotta mix inside of actual raviolis uh, that were then dipped in oil, battered, and fried. There was more battering than like KFC or what's another restaurant that uses way too much battering on their food? Popeyes. But yeah, overall, I was really happy with it. It was definitely a small hole in the wall type of establishment. They only have one location, but I was very pleasantly surprised with the overall quality. The price was phenomenal for an 18 inch pizza, which is quite large and 
It was only fifteen fifty, so that's a really good deal. Ordering was really easy. They had an online option, and you could order into the future, which I like doing so that it's done and out of the way, and I don't have to think about it. Yeah, because ordering into the past wouldn't really make too much sense. You can order for a future time as opposed to ordering it ASAP. So you can order it at 2 in the afternoon and not have it ready for pickup until 5. All those times I was starving, I could have just sent pizza back in time. Now, I can't do that. You crushed my dreams. I'm sorry. You'll be all right. So overall, I would say that Miro's was a great quality. Fantastic quality. <laughs> So overall, I would say that Miro's was a great value for the quality and the quantity that we got. We would like to know what's your favorite pizza and where should we try next? So comment down in the... <laughs> <laughs> so overall, I would say that Miro's was a great... <laughs> you suck! All right, keep going. You're doing good. So overall, I would say that Miro's was a great value for the quantity and the quality that we got. We would like to know what your favorite pizza place is or where we should go next. So let us know in the comments below. And make sure that you like, share, and subscribe this video. Make sure you hit the little bell so you get notified whenever we do come out with our next video and every video after that. And until next time, we'll catch you later.